Hello, I am a co-author in a review article titled Strategies to Improve Anxiety and Depression in Patients with Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease and Mental Health Perspective. This review article was prepared by scientists from Soteria General Hospital of Chest Diseases in collaboration with experts from other hospitals who overviewed existing literature on the prevalence, impact and pathophysiology associated with anxiety and depression in patients with COPD and reviewed studies on pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions in an effort to highlight current knowledge and identify needs for future research. We know that anxiety and depression are remarkably common psychological comorbidities and have considerable impact on patients with COPD in terms of associations with mortality, exacerbations and quality of life. Recent concession statements and guidelines on optimal care for COPD patients emphasize the need of assessment and adequate treatment of persisting anxiety and depressive symptoms in these patients. Despite the high prevalence and considerable negative impact of coexisting psychopathology and COPD, the evidence about optimal approaches for managing depression and anxiety remains unclear and largely speculative. So we attempted to summarize existing empirical evidence based on studies implementing pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions to reduce clinical anxiety and depression in people with COPD. A literature search was conducted for studies examining the effect of anxiolytic and antidepressant medical treatment, cognitive behavioral therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation and other complex interventions on anxiety and depressive symptoms in COPD patients using PubMed databases. 72 studies and 40 reviews were retrieved in full text for data extraction. Included studies in our review provide an overview of the effects of pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions on anxiety and depression in COPD. Current evidence for treatment options to reduce anxiety and depression in patients with COPD include pharmacological treatments, cognitive behavioral therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation, relaxation therapy and alternative treatments. Although there is lack of strong evidence for the efficacy of pharmacological treatment in patients with COPD with comorbid depression and anxiety, pulmonary rehabilitation has extensive evidence supporting its benefits and it has shown to significantly reduce symptoms of both anxiety and depression in COPD patients. The integration of pulmonary rehabilitation and psychological therapy such as CBT has the potential to lead to significant patient benefits. Contemporary research suggests that complex psychological and or lifestyle interventions which include the pulmonary rehabilitation components have the greatest effects on depression and anxiety in patients with COPD. Identification of mental health problem should guide the choice of pharmacological, psychotherapeutic or other intervention. Mild to moderate symptoms of anxiety or depression should not be ignored and treatment should be considered. High-score patients should be referred to a mental health specialist for a comprehensive diagnostic assessment using structured clinical interviews. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence recommends use of low or high intensity psychosocial interventions depending on the severity of mood symptoms. The guidelines review the evidence for the associated service level interventions and psychosocial, psychological and pharmacological interventions. 
While treatment guidelines highlight the importance of recognizing and treating depression and anxiety in patients with COPD, there are few clear evidence-based pathways for the treatment of depression and anxiety. At the same time, it is imperative to develop properly evidence-based COPD care programs that proactively address mental health in order to optimize physical and mental health outcomes. Thank you for watching this video abstract and we hope you read our review article in case you are interested in more information on this topic.